Hey, what's going on? My name is Harrison, and this is going to be an Unreal Engine 4 C++ tutorial on how to generate overlap events with your first person with your first person character. Um, <clears throat> there should also be a GitHub link down down in the description below, so you can always grab the code and move on. But let's go ahead and look at the final product right now. So right now we have we're using the standard first person starter template provided by Epic. Uh, we have the first person character right here, and then we have a trigger volume with the green box. Let's push play. When I enter the green box in the top left, I, it says overlap begin. And now when I exit, it'll say overlap end. So overlap begin, overlap end. So let's go ahead and recreate that in C. Okay, so now let's go into our characters C files. If you don't already have your IDE open, it's just be file, open, uh, Visual Studio, or Visual Studio Code, depending on what you have your IDE set as. So I'm going to open up. <coughs> A VS code right now I'm in the characters header file so this is what we want to manipulate to add a trigger box to him he already has a capsule component but I want to add another one that only deals with trigger events so <clears throat> again my game or my project is called CPP tuts so whatever your project is called it would be that name then character dot H so right now at the bottom, uh, at the be beginning of the class, at the bottom first section, let's go ahead and add the trigger capsule. I have my notes on the right side of me, so hopefully speed things up. Uh, it's gonna be U property, visible anywhere. And we can put it in our own category if we want to. <clears throat> and we'll call it trigger capsule. And it's going to be a <coughs> class u capsule component pointer. And let's call it trigger capsule. Semicolon. We also want to add in the overlap end and overlap begin functions. So we're going to do that at the end of the public portion of the class. So scroll down here. Let's go ahead and add these in. They're going to be u functions. function wait did I do all capitalized all right I just had to check something up above uh these both are gonna be void void on overlap begin And now, oh, not quite. Uh, or I'm going to go to the documentation and grab the function as it's deemed by Epic Stocks. So right now we have on be on component begin overlap. So right now let's just go ahead and take all of these parameters and add them to our function. And that should be for on overlap begin. Let's do the same thing for on overlap end. And again, I already have the link open on component end overlap, on overlap end. Let's grab what we need. They're just parameters that are kind of indicating what has been overlapped with this function. Save that. Now let's jump over into the CPP file and let's go ahead and add the component to our main character. The create capsule equals a create. Uh, the create sub default create default sub object. It's gonna be a u capsule component. Set the size of it. Uh, arrow member function. Init capsule size. And we're going to do 55 
and 96. Uh, it should be the same comp uh, height as what's defined above, <clears throat> right here in their in the original capsule component. They have it set at 55 and 96, so we're just taking from that. So they're the same th the same size. Uh, trigger capsule set collision profile. This is going to be a shortcut. You can also do this in the details panel. Uh, set collision profile name and we're going to set it to trigger and do a trigger capsule setup component setup attachment and do it to the root component So now we just add the trigger capsule to our character. Now let's go ahead and set up the events that will happen when we end and begin our overlaps. Trigger capsule member arrow function on component begin overlap dot add dynamic. This, uh, where's and, and uh, it's going to be a CPP tuts character. So again, that's the current class that I'm in. CPP tuts will be replaced by whatever your project is called. On overlap begin function. Now let's do the same thing for end. Trigger capsule on component end overlap dot add dynamic. This uh, reference to our class a CPP tuts character on overlap. All right, so that should be it in the, uh, we just set the default values. Now let's go ahead and create those two functions. The two functions will be very simple. We will just print out to the screen. Avoid uh, a CPP touch character on overlap begin. Let me copy and paste those values again. There we go with those. Paste those in. Um, create the function. So if the other actor is true and the other actor is not itself or ourself. So it does not equal this. And it has a component. And other component is true. Let's do something with that. If G engine G engine add on screen debug message. Uh, negative one, stay up for five seconds. We'll do an F color of red. Uh, not that. And the color, and we'll just write out overlap begin. I'm going to save that. I'm going to copy and paste it for the most part. It's going to be the same thing. Uh, but this is going to be on overlap end. We're going to have different parameters. They do have, uh, each one does have different parameters. Copy that. Uh, put this in there. Uh, and we actually don't need this first if statement because we're not checking for anything. We're just seeing if it ends. Format that 
and we should be good to go. Let's save it, compile it, and see what happens. Compile fail, let's see where the errors are. Set up attachment, it's not a number. Oh yeah, so I got a bunch of typos. Um, it's a capital U, I think, right? No, it's a lowercase u. Hmm. Set up, attach, oh, there's an E at the end. We don't need that. Okay, I think that's is spelled correctly. Um, go down here. I think I had some other typos. Other actor. Other actor spelled wrong there. Let's save it, compile it, and see what happens. On our love again, it's not a ACPP Tuts character. What are we missing here? Uh, oh, I spelled overlap wrong. Um, overlap, it's gonna be overlap. Missing semicolon on 316 and 325. All right, now it should compile successfully. Good at that. Let's drag in a trigger volume. Trigger volume. Uh, let's increase the height of it so it's a little bit bigger. Increase the size. And now let's see if it works. Push play. I enter. I have overlap begin trigger on the top left. And as I end, it says overlap begin because I don't think I changed the text correctly. Uh, and there we go. Compile. Now switch play again. Overlap begin and then overlap and triggers. Right. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.